Hey, howdy hey everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. And today, we're back in Duford City. I've also PC'd uh, Flygon for now, and, you know, for Feebas, because today we're going to get Dive. Yeah, you're probably wondering why we're back, or why we're back here in uh, Duford, and that is because there is some water routes we can fully explore now with Dive that we couldn't really earlier. Um, and also, if we take a look at the moves... <laughs> Water Pulse is the same damage as Dive, right? But Dive takes two turns, so, you know, I'd rather just uh, you know, attack and not waste a whole turn of battle. So, you know, that is my reasoning on ditching Flygon for now. But let's go ahead and uh, start heading east, shall we? Right off the pier after I take a phone call. It's Ricky. All right, and we've got a trainer battle here. There's gonna be plenty of them to do. Let's make sure our team is ready to go for that right now. Yeah, we're definitely not. Um, let's see, who needs some love right now? Again, we don't want to overlevel Sceptile, but uh, yeah, I think we'll stop leveling him around like four, I mean her around level 48, and uh, we'll actually move Gardevoir to the second party slot there, and I guess we'll take the amulet coin off of Milotic. And getting into battle here, we are up against Swimmer Denise, and uh, she's throwing out Wingle first. Nothing too crazy to, you know, uh, be scared of. Uh, it is a speed EV, but I do believe my Sceptile was already, like, maxed out on random stats, because unlike Charmander, I wish I had done this retrospectively. Uh, I wish I had sent Sceptile over to, like, my Ruby and EV trained it, and then, like, traded it back over when I was done to do the Let's Play. But it's fine, you know, Sceptile... I, th I feel like I got enough EVs on it, you know, it's one shotting a decent amount of things if not everything it's really good against, so I think that's the main job in Gen 3, uh, especially because we're not actually battling competitively, we're just battling, like, well, Battle Frontier stuff, but yeah, it kind of scales, but not really, I don't know. But yes, yeah, so we'll get on with the Battle Frontier later, don't worry about that. We're actually coming up to the end of Emerald here, but Swimmer Tony would like to battle, throwing out Carvana, I mean Carvana, uh, uh, like the car website, the vending machine, right? But no, um, yeah, it's it's gonna. Be okay, so I know I said grass is special in Gen Three, but in reality, moves do have a physical or like non-contact, you know, non-physical um, like definition to them as well in the game. Even though grass is special, it's kind of weird. Uh, and they fix it in future generations with the like official, like full-fledged uh, physical special split with moves and all. And we've got a double battle, you know I love them. And it's Ray here, we always love to battle, I always lose, but we can beat you two on two. Okay, we'll see about that. We are leading with a very nice Sceptile, but looks like we got Sis and Bro, uh, Lisa and Ray here, throwing out Goldie and Tentacle. Uh, not terrible, I mean, Tentacle's probably her best Pokemon, not gonna lie. Seeking's pretty good, but you know. Let's just go ahead and knock everything out real quick. And we have yet another swimmer here. I almost missed him, to be honest. And I want to say Swimmer Matthew here is the last trainer on the route. And I didn't even notice at first that, yeah, they're only level 26. So if you don't want to grind out on wild Pokemon for specific EVs like I did, you could probably just come and do the route properly earlier. But again, you won't have uh, full access to the location we're visiting today. But... Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, I think we got one more Pokemon. Nope, that's it for Matthew. And here we are. You can see more trainer uh, battles lie ahead to the east. I'm not sure if anything interesting is actually there besides just traveling to Slateport by uh, Surf. But yeah, this little itty bitty uh, ship wreckage is what we're going to be going on today. And once we hop on a board, we are on the abandoned ship. Uh, I believe there are wild Pokemon in here. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but if we look around, um, we'll find trash cans. And as you know, they can hold secret items. And I believe we're looking for a room key. So let's go ahead and take on the first trainer battle of this place and see if we're uh, still over leveled or not. All right, we're up against Beauty Talia and Youngster Demetrius, I think it's that her name was, I forgot already. But just, yeah, a level 25 Whelmer and Zigzagoon. 
Not going to fare well against a Stab, a Leaf Blade, and a Stab Psychic, that's for sure. To the, the room directly above the last that conjoined, we find the harbor mail. Nothing too interesting. But maybe in the trash can? Nope, it's also empty. Step downstairs, we are challenged by Sailor Duncan throwing out his feel with a nice animation there. I do like that, pretty cool. Uh, but you know the drill. We're gonna just leaf blade this level 25 and pretty much win. Let's go ahead and start checking out these rooms. Oh, an item right ahead. A dive ball. Um, I'm not sure if they're rare or not in Emerald, to be honest, because I only use Pokeballs uh, and Ultra Balls, like I said. Uh, but yeah, there's a dive ball if you really want it. Uh, nope, this is not a trainer battle. I was a bit hesitant to go in there. Um, it, so some rooms can join and some don't. Okay, I never really did this on um, the 3DS version, and as a kid, of course, I never backtracked on routes, so it never occurred to me to check out the abandoned ship but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out these last three rooms. To the left room, we find an escape rope. Uh, I guess that may be handy. We'll check if we can use it when we finally need to get out of here. But in the middle room, we can find this uh, like deeper, darker, like first aid symbol of water. Uh, if we go ahead and dive, though, we can head under water. And there we go, the music is starting to play, some famous, famous, it's, it's just soothing, really. But, we can find this light spot, and if we hit B, we can go ahead and resurface. And it leads us to another part of the ship, I'm not sure if we, oh, we need the key first, I'm pretty sure. So, let's head back, I got a little bit ahead of myself, I got a little excited. Oh, actually, there's doors up here, nope, they're all locked too. Alright, and heading on up to the final level here. Oh, we can. I forgot an emerald. Uh, we actually have to walk up to initiate double battles. But young couple Kira and Dan would like to battle, throwing out their Volbeat and Illumise. So we'll go ahead and just knock them out. Gardevoir, I'm not too concerned about having an issue here. Um, it's just we are running out of uh, Leaf Blade, so I'm trying to test out other moves. Her suit isn't going to be good because they're bug tight, of course, so we're just going to go for Shockwave and Quick Attack, and no, I mean Shockwave maybe, but Quick Attack definitely not. Alright, but after that battle, we can not get anything out of that trash can, but we find a revive. Nothing too interesting. I was actually really hoping that was the card key. Oh, and actually coming back to the bottom four, you can see a flash in the top right corner of the screen. I don't know why I didn't check all the doors. I know I should have, but we find room key one. So yeah, my bad. I kind of took us on a detour, but we got some items, I guess, and some trainer battles. Uh, some money, I guess. But yeah, and also a water stone. But <laughs> let's find room one, shall we? All right, we open up this door, and we find two shining lights. It looks like one was over here. All right, we find room key four. And uh, by room key 4 we've got Rain Dance TM, not bad, of course I won't be using it anytime soon. Um, I don't think any Pokemon I want on my team are gonna, you know, have Rain Dance, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, you'll see what that team is for later, we'll eventually, oh it's just Pride Trash. There are distractions in the room to help you, I mean, try to catch you to forget what you find. But let's go to room 4. Alright, entering room 4, we see like 3, so I'm gonna check is it over here? Bright and shiny trash. I feel like it was over here by the... Oh, trash. So the other one was by the trash can. I just can't remember where. Unless it's in it. Oh, room key six inside the trash can. Here we go. A little less confusing than what's in Surge's puzzle. But let's go ahead and uh, say room six, huh? Uh, 
Uh, nothing flashed there, I don't think, when we entered. Maybe it's in the conjoining room, I don't know. But we find a Luxury Ball, which I think is also... I'm not sure about the Dive Ball again, but I think they're rare in this game. I'm not sure if you can buy them in multiples. But I think, um... I honestly forget what the riddle is for this room. I don't think there is one. Uh, well, no. There's gotta be a room key somewhere, no? I'll re-enter to see if there's a flash. Oh, so we walk into room 5, and there's, a, I guess, potential spots we can find. So let me go ahead and look at those again, and see if we can re-enter... Alright, I think I've got them planned out. So I'm guessing these have a static location due to the nature of how it works. Bright and shiny trash. There was another one over here, I believe. Let me check all the places. Oh, just trash over here. Oh, we found room 2 key, so I'm pretty sure that's the one we need. But I'll go ahead and check the other spot, and hopefully uh, maybe it'll be worth it. I doubt it, though. It's probably just more trash. Alright, and coming into room two, let's see, anything special? No, just a Pokeball, looks like. The scanner. Okay, that might be useful, I would assume. Um, but let's go ahead and check this trash can. Nope, nothing. Oh, and I didn't even realize <laughs> where the stairs up here, we could have came up this area. So maybe it's good we grab the scanner first. I'm not sure, but I was trying to figure out what to do with it. But, find a scientist up here. Oh, that's a scanner! Listen, can I get you to deliver that to Captain Stern? I want to investigate the ship a little bit more. And, alright, but what do you got over here? Storage key. Nice. Exactly what I was looking for. Alright, and back down here we can finally enter the storage room. So, let's check it out. Doesn't look like any uh, sparkling tiles are going off, but... Get TM13 for Ice Beam, which is very nice. Very powerful move. Again, not quite sure if I'll be using it because they are quite finite across the Gen 3 games. So, yeah. There might be one where you can buy it in, but that won't be until much later. And again, I'm not sure exactly what moves you can buy because I forget. But we'll get there eventually. Alright, and we've got a double battle heading eastward back to Slateport City. We got Cool Trainer Carolina. And Sailor Cory. So let's go ahead and take him on. We got a Manetric and a Lingle. Uh, I think our Sceptile uh, and Gardevoir, level 42 and 41, uh, will definitely be able to take care of this. But I'm not sure if Pursuit is a one shot. I doubt it. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll go for Psychic, not Shockwave. Alright, we've got a main Manetric and Tentacool up. So I think we're going to pursue the Manetric. And, uh, oh, we'll go for a Psychic on the Tentacle. That's kind of overkill, because Shockwave would definitely knock it out, but let's see what we can... Oh, and we get, <laughs> get paralyzed by Manetric on that Pursuit, unluckily. And Sceptile hitting level 43 from Gardevoir's nice feint there. Uh, yeah, we got 123 special attack, very nice speed, uh, and good amount of HP, so I guess, yeah, we definitely trained speed up quite a bit, but that special attack and HP is really showing through. I believe we also did HP. But, uh, yeah, let's get back, uh, heading to East. Uh, oh, we want to learn Slam. Let's see if it's any good. I had, like, 75 accuracy, so I think we're good. Let's just go ahead and let, uh, oh, got at least two more Pokemon left. I did not realize that. Alright, and all that for a star piece again. I think an emerald they're just for selling, but I'm gonna hold on to mine just in case I'm wrong, but, you know, I get it confused with platinum and diamond and pearl a lot, but let's go ahead and head back to Slateport. Alright, and we have made it back onto the beach here at Slateport City. So let's go ahead and head to Captain Stern's workshop. Oh wait, no, he's, he's at the harbor, not his workshop, my bad. Alright, and I believe this is Captain Stern. Oh, Cody, that item you have. That's a scanner! That would sure help us on our explorations. Cody, would you trade your scanner for something? Like, say, a deep sea tooth or a deep sea scale that I have? And I'm gonna say no for now, but if you wanna choose one, if you know the evolution line of Clamperl, uh, we don't. I don't think we stumbled across. <laughs> voice crack. I don't think we stumbled across Clamperl on the channel here together. But eventually we will, but I think we're going to be able to get these Pokemon by other means, so for now I'm going to hit exit. 
until I know if I need one later. But yeah, it's for um, contour and uh, I forget, I forget the pink one. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> I was totally wrong. So the deep, the deep sea tooth is actually for a Pokemon called Huntail, not Haunter. That's the Gengar line. That's probably what I was thinking of for some reason. But also the deep sea scale gives you the beautiful Pokemon. Gorbis. Uh, I'm not a fan of either, so again, I'm just gonna hit exit for now because I feel like the scanner sprite is a little, it looks a little cooler. I did look at the, the magma emblem sprite. I will show you guys that because I do think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, there it is. Little like Chuck E. Cheese token with their logo on it. We'll probably lose it once we uh, have another encounter with them or two. There's a scanner as well, just in case you want to see what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, let's head back to, I believe, Moss Deep City. Uh, where we're going to be heading uh, to our next location, I believe. Oh, we need to get Flygon back at our party instead of Feebas, but... Uh, oh no, that's going to be an issue. I really don't want to get rid of Water Pulse, because it was a TM, I'm pretty sure. And I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, you can do Quick Select on Gen 3. I'm, I'm on the GameCube Game Boy player, so I have to hit Y for mine. I don't know what it is on a... Uh, a Game Boy or DS. I haven't played it on that in quite a while, to be honest with you, since I've got my Game Boy player. But yeah, you can just do quick select this way. Uh, very nice. Alright, but with Flygon flying us back here to the Moss Deep City, uh, I think we have an important decision to make if we want to teach Milonic dive or. Uh, we can't throw her into the PC. We'd probably have to throw Flygon in the PC again. So let me see what I'm going to do about this. Uh, move uh, choice I have the telltale option of getting rid of water pulse for dive Ugh, HM and actually I lied I'm thinking about fire at leaf green water pulse is actually a move my Lonic learns or I guess Feebas learns uh, at level 20 uh, but I would evolve your my Lonic, uh before level 20 just to be sure in case you know Feebas doesn't learn it but yeah I just looked it up real quick on you know the Google but I think for now, we are going to rest up here in Moss Deep City, uh, and I guess start heading uh, down south uh, to the next city, to the next area, where we need dive. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the app. We'll teach my lot of dive, but yeah, I will be seeing you guys here next time. So as always, thanks guys for watching the video. And uh, if you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share around with your friends if you think they'd also enjoy this type of uh, video. And as always, I've been Cowboy Fitz, here with you today, and I'll see you guys next time.